Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I wanted to pop in real quick to explain what this video is going to be about. If you couldn't tell by the title, in this video I am going to be doing a sort of step-by-step. -step. I kind of was just, it's like a lot of broken footage, so just bits and pieces everywhere of during my transition with Appa and Momo, but anyways, I rescued Appa and Momo from a shelter and at the time they were eating Marshall's regular um, kibble, which I do not like, so I filmed their transition onto a raw diet. So the transition to raw will be different for everybody. Appa and Momo were only six months old, so it at the time so it only took maybe three weeks to transition them when with Patsu and Howl uh, it took even though they were younger when I started it took seven to eight weeks I want to say until they were fully transitioned each ferret has different things that they like and they don't like uh, for these two they transitioned a lot quicker than I would have thought because Patsu and Howl took a lot longer but all ferrets are different, all ferrets are built differently. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy, I hope this helps. This was a requested video and I just happened to have this footage laying around. I wasn't exactly planning on putting it into a video, but, um, cause I've just been talking so much about raw lately. I have so many videos on raw. I thought, you know, maybe I should just take a step back, take a break from all the raw videos, but this was requested and I hope you guys enjoy it. Hello, so we are going to be documenting Appa and Momo's uh, transition to raw so it is day two ooh, trying to eat raw and um, so far Appa has been more willing to try new things Momo did have some egg um, with her kibble so that's a start um, but Appa now is eating a soup of ground chicken tenderloins uh, just one mixed with a lot of water. <laughs> the more water there is, the easier it is to get them to eat it. Um, Cause they're like, oh, you know, it's kind of like dipping their toes in a little bit. So this is what the soup looks like. Um, it's very, very uh, light. Um, so what happens is sometimes if you accidentally leave like pieces like that, like stringy pieces, they kind of get a little freaked out. So try not to put those in your soup or like blend it up even more. Uh, my blender's kind of annoying, so, but, uh, yeah, Appa had his, uh, sh fair share. He's kind of like, oh, what the heck is that? But he did willingly eat quite a bit of it, so I am happy with that progress. Momo, on the other hand, is not sure if she approves. Nope. <laughs> so with Momo, sorry, the lighting's really dark. We're going to do the dollop method, so I'm going to stick my pinky finger in here and taps him on her nose and then she licks it off and she's like what the hell why'd you do that <laughs> excuse the gross piece of chicken there and then dollop is she gonna lick it she don't want to <laughs> i tricked you i tricked you <laughs> momo boop <laughs> Hello, I look super sick because I am. So next up on Appa and Momo's journey to raw, I'm going to go pick up the instinct raw bites now because uh, the chicken soup uh, is not a huge hit. Uh, they're definitely not like Howl and Patsu were where they sort of dug right in. I mean, Appa technically did. He ate about like a couple teaspoons of the soup, but then he was like, no more. So today I've just been um, stuffing I, it's technically called scruff and stuff, but I don't scruff them when I do it. I just kind of stick my finger in their mouth with soup in it. But um, they haven't been totally protesting it, so. This is the um, key tree chicken, whatever, instinct raw stuff that um, helped Patsu specifically um, transition. Patsu was the more difficult one. Good news everyone, Momo finally took her first few sips of the chicken soup willingly and uh, so I'm very happy about that. I didn't think that we were gonna get to that today but we did. I'm so proud of her, my little girl. <laughs> She's like, fine, I will eat what you're shoving in my face. <laughs> one step closer to being super healthy ferrets. Yay! 
So basically how I got Momo to eat was I did the pinky method and then I kind of like put it in her face until she ate it and then she did and then just now I picked her up and I held my pinky to her face. I didn't, you know, shove it. I just like held it in front of her nose and then she started eating it. Willingly she ate um, probably about a teaspoon, maybe two, um, which is not a lot, but it's you know, a significant improvement from before when she turned her nose up. She's like, no, that is good. I think tonight I'm going to try maybe um, chicken heart soup, uh, maybe ground rabbit if I have any. I don't know if I have any. See this? This is progress. This is Momo eating some chicken soup. And all I did was offer it on my pinky and then gradually put the pinky lower, 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 lower into the soup. It's kind of gross, but <laughs> it works. So she is eating this up. And these two new guys, um, they are foodies, I would call them. When they eat, they <laughs> eat like monsters. So she should be hungry. Howell, no, you don't need any of that. And Mr. Howell dumped this soup on the floor. I had to pick it back up. Yes, I guess I'm talking about you. So yep, this is progress. And this was left in their cage while I was at work for only four hours, meaning they ate a bowl of heart soup. So there was, it was just chicken heart and water blended super, super good. Um, and then I put some of their kibble on top. So the kibble, it was used to entice them. And then they're like, oh, this is pretty darn good. So they ate the rest of it. I was not expecting them to eat this soup at all. Um, I was very surprised to come home to find it empty. And this is a good time to show you what Mr. Appa does when he sees that you're wearing socks. He gets very offended when you're wearing socks. Ow! And it really hurts. So he will do that until you take your socks off. And he won't take your socks. He'll just like sniff your feet and then he's like, okay. Okay, <laughs> such a weirdo. Just a little update. I introduced a new protein to Momo and Appa. Um, they have turkey, and I also mixed in a little bit of the raw um, instinct, uh, the instinct raw bites. I don't really know the full name, but um, those have a little bit of bone and a little bit of liver in them. So I mashed those up, mixed them in, and then also like the brown part, that's Part of their kibble that I top to entice them but she actually has been eating around the kibble so I might stop doing that entirely unless that helps Appa eat I'm not exactly sure but Momo really likes turkey <laughs> yeah do you like turkey she really likes turkey and today I'm wearing my Patsu shirt but <laughs> this is an actual picture of Patsu we are doing really well um, I just need to make sure that Appa eats today um, a little bit more. I think he wasn't hungry. I think he ate all of the chicken soup this morning, um, mostly him. So I think he was just full. But um, yeah, Ma uh, Momo is really enjoying the ground turkey. So today's the first day that I actually didn't blend anything uh, for her. I just offered, it's just ground. And the difference is ground is more of like a mince. So it's not completely like... It's not completely blended, not like liquidy. It's kind of got a bit of a texture to it. And uh, some pieces are bigger than others, which um, she doesn't really need to chew them, but she kind of feels like she has to. Um, so yeah, you happy? She's a happy girl. I didn't talk during this clip because I didn't want to disturb Appa, but he's finally eating on this day. It's the same thing that Momo was eating before, and he just likes when you are watching over him when he's eating or you're touching him a little bit. It just makes him feel comfortable and confident. So I haven't really been filming updates for Appa and Momo's transition just because it's been the same thing pretty much every day. I feed on my you know, finger, drop it down to the bowl, and then they start eating. So there's that. 
and um, they're doing really, really well. We've tried a lot of different proteins, a lot of different pieces of meat. So today is the first day where I added like actual bone in rather than bone powder um, or eggshell. So today, um, uh, Patsun Howell get uh, chopped up duck neck and I also put some ground beef in there as well. I cut half of it and, well, more than half of it into bigger pieces that Fatsu and Hal eat, and then for the rest of it I ground it up really, really finely and mixed it in with their regular chopped chicken. Hopefully they'll eat this, and um, since their poops have been super runny because they just haven't gotten to eating the bone yet, although they are eating organs, they are eating other muscle meats, really likes the mixture. He is eating the bone in it for the first time ever, which is awesome. So the goal is to gradually increase the size of bone in their little mush mush and eventually they will just eat it on its own. So yeah, we're making some good progress. Momo is too sleepy to eat some, but we'll try later. <laughs> on day 16 something magical happened i put down a plate of cut up duck neck pretty significant sizes because they were meant for patsu and howl but momo came over and just started eating them out of nowhere she jumped from eating the tiniest little pieces and ground meat to big pieces of neck i don't know what happened it kind of just happened overnight but yeah here she is doing that <laughs> Thank you all for watching. In about two to three weeks, Abba and Momo were completely transitioned onto raw and they now eat big pieces, normal sized pieces, and I can feed them together with Patsu and Howl. So it was a fun journey, super quick, super easy, and I uh, hope this inspires you to maybe transition your ferret over at some point. Feel free to check out my other videos that I have on raw. I have a video about how I feed raw. I have a what I feed in a week video, my ferret care guide, everything that you guys need to know about feeding a raw diet on my channel. Until next time, thanks again. Bye!